This is a bun tutorial <laughs> with Esther Rail as our subject and Michelle Doolin will be our bun maker and this is for Texas Youth Ballet Conservatory's bun making population. The supplies that you'll need are hair nets, um, hair ties, and bobby pins, Go ahead. Water. a water bottle to spray with, and the ribbon, and some gel. If and some gel. First thing we do is we thoroughly spray the hair with the water bottle. This will make it more manageable and keep control of wisp wispies. Then we brush it through so that it's evenly distributed and there aren't any tangles in the hair. Okay, Esther has very long, straight, heavy hair, so we're going to use the two-tail method on her. Um, the first thing <laughs> we're going to do is we're going to pull it all back into a single ponytail with two hair ties around it. You want to get your hand up underneath as you're combing the hair back so that you can smooth it against the head. Yes, sometimes they break. Two times. I usually have to put mine around two, only two times too. <laughs> so this is the second hair tie going on. The secureness of the ponytail is very important. The, the whole bun rides on how secure the ponytail is. You want to separate the hair at the base of the ponytail and pull it to either side and that tightens the ponytail against the head. Okay, so um, it's nice and secure. Here's the part that takes Colby forever. Um. <laughs> All right. The next step is to take the comb. Smooth the hair back one last time towards the ponytail. It might leave a little tiny ridge back by the ponytail of hair that's been smoothed back. You don't need to worry about that quite yet. That will go back underneath the bun. Okay, and 
and we're going to put some gel on just to make sure. This is a performance ready bun here. distributing the gel with the comb through the hair. Okay. All right, now we're going to separate the hair into two equal tails. And we're going to take the first one. And make sure it's nice and straight. And Esther's got nice long hair, so it can go right over her shoulder. Hmm. Right. Okay, we're going to take the first tail and start twisting the hair. As it twists tighter, it folds up nicely against the scalp. And you secure it with a bobby pin. And twist a little bit more. And secure it with a bobby pin. So this is the way you put the bobby pin in. You stick it in from the top and then you fold it against the scalp and underneath the ponytail holders into the bun. All right, so the first tail is halfway over. Now she's going to grab the second tail and start twisting that. and bring it out along the outside of the first tail. So it goes underneath and outside. to the first tail again, bringing that down along the second one. sure to get the bottom edge of the bun secured to the head with, with the pins. As you reach the end of the tail, you're 
going to tuck it under the edge of the bun. And add a couple of extra pins. As you can see, it takes a lot of bobby pins. Okay, so there it's all pinned down. It still has a few little flyaways just because it doesn't have a net on it yet. Okay, so now putting on the hairnet, we're going to open up the hairnet. Start from the bottom. Start from the bottom, bring it up over the top of the head, twist it, bring it back over the bun, and you may be able to twist it and bring it up a third time. This one doesn't go all the way up, so she's gonna tuck the excess under the back of the bun. And then she's gonna put a few bobby pins to secure the net to the bun. So, one more quick spray. looking it back since there's some gel on there now it just makes it really smooth and shiny <laughs> and Bottom? Yeah, go ahead and put it on the bottom. And it's good that you're going low. This cream is really bad. All right, and we've got the ribbon on, so all set. Now, Esther, we're going to give it. Give it a good test, okay? So shake your head really hard. Oops, yeah. Yeah, stay seated. And shake your head really hard back and forth. Does it move? If it doesn't move or flop around, we're in good shape. And that is our ballet bun. And let me get one last look at the back there. There it is. Okay. Thank you, Esther.